Hey everyone, what about here and welcome to Core Keeper Early Access. So I played this a couple months ago and really enjoyed it and I want to get m further into it. It's effectively a, a Terraria, frankly, but in, um, how do I make stuff? Here we go. Let's just make a boatload of torches to begin with and then we'll figure everything else out because I'm going to need tons. Otherwise, it's just going to be super dark in here and I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Uh, let's see, Core, Core Keeper is a lot like Terraria, but it's top-down isometric instead. Isometric? I guess it's kind of. Isometric is usually rotated 45 degrees, but you know what, whatever. It's top-down. It's lovely. It's got great pixel art, and it's got a fair bit of depth to it, too. I don't remember if there was music or if I was listening to my own. But unfortunately, it's early access, it means that there's probably going to be some stuff missing from the game, but that's okay. So I've started as a miner, and we're just going to clear as much of this cave out as possible. We've got a bunch of these boss shrines all over the place. Implying that, hey, you're going to have to do a big murder, aren't you? Actually, I probably should not be mining dirt with my pickaxe. That seems wasteful. Okay, turf wall. I don't remember turf walls being a thing. There we go. Copper ore. I guess I don't need to care too much there. Alright. I'm just gonna churn through all of these, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there is like a shovel that we can get later that is far better at dealing with this stuff than the rock. There's also a lot of slime. Which... I can break. I know I can... Or... You know what? I bet I need the shovel to actually break the slime. Okay, let's get up here. Can I grab that? Yeah, heartberry. And also my inventory is getting kind of full. We should probably go back and actually build some things. Because I might be able to make like a wooden shovel. If I remember right, copper is like the second tier. Okay, tab, crafting table. Oh good, I have more inventory space than I thought I did. I'm just going to slap this down here. Uh, let's see, so I can make a chest. Uh, let's see, I can make bridges. I don't remember base building being that available this early on. And no, it actually does look like I've got to start with copper. It's also tin, the copper anvil, cooking pot. All right, because I'm just going to have to go until I find some copper. Oh, there's something up there. Let's just use the pickaxe. If it goes faster, it goes faster. I'll be able to make more. I'm sure. Oh. Well, it doesn't really help if I've got that all over the place. I need, uh, I guess let's get the chest down. Just for the time being. Move over some of the useless junk. And nothing else. Okay. Yeah, there's, like, no music for this game. Did I turn it off? Oh. I had apparently turned it off, probably listen to my own music. Probably when I was playing the demo. Okay, there are sparklies down here. Oh, we've also got sand walls. Well, if it's sand, I might as well just actually punch through. Alright, there we go. New talent point available in mining. Wait, talent points? My in mining? Span the talent tree. Okay, so I'll get more mining damage, but what else can we do? Gain additional ore from walls containing ores. Or visible or distance. Ooh. I didn't know there was a talent tree here, but I like it. And yeah, doing anything gives you skill points. Oh, wait. Hold up. Wood shuffle. Oh. I knew there was something. I guess I just wasn't paying any attention. Alright. So I don't have to use my copper pickaxe when I don't need it. Alright. Let's put that away. But. Flip. Pull this shovel over. There we go. Still takes a little while. I guess there's a lot of sand all over the place that I can just dig through at hyperspeed. But I don't, I don't actually get extra EXP for doing so. Also, wow, torches do not light things up very much. Wow. I mean, it's fine. Here we go. Back to shovel. Actually, maybe the pickaxe is faster for going through the walls. Huh. Fair enough. 
And I'm getting mining levels by doing this. Nice. Not that there's much to look at. I, I know there's like a lantern you can get. I probably should have started with that class. There's an explorer that you can you can be that starts with a lantern. Uh, that might have actually been the better idea here. But, you know what, whatever. The music is quite nice, actually. Don't know how I missed it. Okay. We also have slime. Ow. Slime's, slime's hurt. Okay, we also have bomb peppers and some other things. But is there any resource any resources around here? Yeah, there kind of is. Okay, let's just go back to this. I'll cut my way over. Just feel like I have to get a torch down fairly often just to be able to see what I'm doing, and even then, eesh, eh, it's fine. We'll get a lantern soon enough. And the better my mining, the faster this goes, I think. Okay, also seeing a bunch of weird goodies all over. I don't remember what those do. It's odd. I, I've i like wiped my memory of certain games. I think it's because demos, I don't, I don't care to like commit it to memory in the same way that I do for a lot of other games. Because for a demo, there's kind of an impermanence to it. You know, I'm not going to be coming back to it for quite some time, so it's easy to remove. And then I've got other games that, like, I haven't played in years that I can remember every detail, and I'm just like, what? I think it's also just, you know... I, it's similar enough to other games that it's easy to just kind of pass it off as... Sim uh, like, overly similar? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I guess I'll just use the cop pickaxe for the moment. It is faster. Okay, so what is this stuff? Looks like just a bunch of supply crates, more than anything else. Looks like also a bunch of mushrooms, fireflies, nothing else. Okay. I'm gonna keep going for the mineable spots. Because they seem to actually have some reasonably useful things here. Uh, I want to grab as much copper as I possibly can. Last time, I made the mistake and didn't realize that there was a difference between a copper and a tin uh, anvil. And didn't actually like build most of my equipment and then tried fighting a boss. And so I want to do that part a little bit better. This time around. Okay, let's just put that there. I don't like being the YouTuber that is that misses one thing and then gets harangued for it. It's always like the worst place to be in. It's very easy to miss stuff too. Especially when you're going kind of fast. Now was I here? I was. No? No, I haven't been here before. It's a big chamber though. Okay. Do we head over here? Oh, it's all sand, ain't it? It's sand. There we go. That's a bunch of copper. I don't know. There's something really satisfying about the early stages of any mining game, where you're first you're, you're finding your first like sets of resources, and you're you're getting deeper in and finding the good stuff. Ooh, there's a chest. You know, eventually when you can just chew through the world, like, there's nothing in, in your way, then it kind of doesn't matter anymore. Uh, but early on, it just feels so satisfying just exploring and finding stuff. Okay. Can I get that? No. Okay, so maybe I have to finish this off before I can get to these. What else do we have? Mining damage added is mailing damage, mining speed, explosives... Damage, movement speed, boost for short duration after mining a wall, or a chance to drop a valuable item. Huh. We gotta check this out. We've got a little, little treasure nook. I will accept it gladly. Hello. It has a mysterious doll set. Valuable. A pair of green dolls wearing clothes. Sitting together, they look like great pals. I am confused. Here's a question.
Can I just yoink the walls and floor? Looks like it. Okay, decorative torches. I just all this stuff is now mine. Oh. Guess I can't mine these walls. They're no good. Paintable wall. I don't really have much of an immediate use for these things, but I might. Oops. I don't know. What if I want to make a secret little chest chamber or something and make it look nice? Aesthetics can be worth it, sometimes. I'm usually more for, uh, function over form, just out of sheer practicality. You know, I don't like wasting a whole lot of time building stuff, necessarily. Right. I just totally ran past this because I saw glitteries. There we go. Uh, slap a torch down. You're quite hungry. Oh, shoot. So I am. Okay, let's go back. Oh, interesting. Shift switches me to torch and lets me put it down. Weird. That actually, okay, that's actually quite nice. Okay, is this the way back? I think so. Now there's the slime on the ground. Oh, it just reduces my max health. Oh, from starving. Uh, let's see. There we go. I guess I'll just have to work my way up on that one. Uh, where do I want to build my base? Left side here actually seems really, really useful for that. So I think we'll do, we'll start clearing this area out. Because that, that way I get access to some fishing as well. Okay. I'm going to take a little while to clear it all out. That's okay. And yeah, I might as well have my base kind of centered around this area. Eventually I'll get some more ooh, talent point and running. Okay, less food drained when running. Let's see, movement speed after running consistently for a short duration, so acceleration, movement speed boost after dodging an attack, snare and, uh, snare and dirt, bleh, stare, snare and stun durations reduced by 10%, 3% damage after consistently running for a short duration, any nearby enemies are slowed down by 5%, or armor increase. Huh, they're minor, but I do appreciate that you have some level of kind of a control over a build. Okay. I wonder if I can fix these. No. Well, let's start with the copper anvil. Ooh, cave pouch. Cave pouch? Bag. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's just move over... A bunch of stuff. Yeah, the decor elements I certainly don't need, at least for a little while. Sand wall, tin ore, some food rations. How did I forget about those? It's because I moved them away. Well, we might as well eat all of them. No, re no reason to save them at the moment. Okay, so I need copper bars. Which means I need to actually pull up my furnace. Slap it here. Okay, also have tin ore, but that's for later. Yeah, the existence of the broken tools makes me wonder if I can actually... A ring of stone. Or did I find a ring of stone? Maybe. Oh yeah, no I did. It's right there. Uh, extra mining damage. And if I get two of them, the ring of stone and the ring of rock, we get even more. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna toss some torches around, because it seems like this is a decent area for me to set up. I just gotta work it. Okay, how much do I need? Eat. There's also the cooking pot. Uh, but food is not an issue at the moment. Sel salvage and repair station. Let's grab that first. Uh, 
Okay, so I need scrap parts. Oh, interesting. So can I salvage that to get some scrap parts? So I can I can burn wooden tools to get scrap parts to repair my other tools. Okay. That's kind of huge. Okay, I need one more. Let's let's wait until I get the anvil at the very least, see what I can get. What else can I make here? Uh, let's see, a watering can, a hoe, a lantern. Can be equipped in the offhand, but I gotta go get some slimes. Let's see, anything else? No. Lots to do, though. Okay, so this lets me make wooden armor and then copper armor. Ooh. Let's just go wood for the time being. Become wood child. So what does that give me? Health, max health armor and it's got limited durability. Fair. Okay, well, first things first, I might as well just dig through as much as this is possible. Especially with that ring of stone. But I wanna I wanna just have a a base region that I can work with. At least for a brief moment. Let's see. After this, what are we gonna do? I, I know there's a boss that I could potentially fight, but I'm a little leery of that. I should probably figure out cooking and a couple other things first. I also have no idea where the boss might even be. I'll have to just wander around until I get remotely close. Alright, I can just do shift click. Cause yeah, I can yeah, there we go. Okay. We should also probably look into farming a little bit. As I'm actually going to need I'm going to need large quantities of food if I'm going to be able to heal. Or really just fight or do anything. And one thing I definitely need to start doing is finding some slimes. I'm going to need them if I want to get a lantern. I've also just got some other things to do. Oh boy, yeah, I desperately need... It's five slime to get the lantern. What I might want to do is just dig in a straight line for a very, very long time. And hopefully, hopefully we can find some useful bits while I do so. Well, we've already found some more wood and a bigger series of caverns. Oh, including one of those flowers. I forget what they do. We should probably make some more torches too while we're at it. There we go, 32. That should be enough. And then eventually I'm just gonna have the lantern so I don't need to put torches every everywhere. Only in the places where I actually care to put them. There we go. Yeah, it looks like this, this actually has a fair bit to it. Okay, put that there. Uh, just hit things with an ingot. There we go. Oh, wait, question. I wonder, can I mine slime? I've also got the glow tulips. Let's, uh, go back for a hot second. I gotta, I gotta check this. I guess first and foremost we finish punching mushroom and then mining this area out. But then let's go back and uh, see if I can mine the slime off the ground. Because if I can mine the slime off the ground, I might actually be able to get my hands on uh, that torch much, much sooner. That one? No. And that's a fishing spot. Good to know. I can't fish yet. I know there's a fisher class. It might actually be something worth... There we go. Ground slime. Probably is not the same as regular slime. So I, I bet I have to kill regular slime enemies to get what I'm looking for. Shoot. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, I just have to find them. I was just like, well, I mean, there's slime on the ground. Maybe it counts. You never know. But no, ground slime is probably... Oh, you know what? You can probably use it to fight certain enemies. This costs 
almost nothing to dig up. There we go. What happens if I do that? Does that... Oh, I, I can just get rid of ground. Huh. Turf wall, turf ground. Yeah, so if I wanted to, I could actually, like, dig up a, a chasm and do something with it. Okay, well, we have some mushy berry pudding. It's actually really good food. Okay, so... We got 32, 32 copper. Is that enough for a full set? I think it is. There we go. I don't think it's enough for a weapon, though. I go to workbench. Yeah. I Maybe I should get some farming down, though. Yeah, because you need six for that. I don't think I need another pickaxe, either. Uh, especially if I can just go back over to any of these here. Make one of these, put this here, break it. Yeah, so I can just get scrap whatever I want out of just base wood. There's probably some downside to this, but I ain't seen it. Fix that one, cost me nothing. All right, should be good. All right, let's go full copper. I look ridiculous. Uh, do we want to just scrap these? I guess I could hold on to them, but... Nah. Okay, uh, let's see. So I got... I got the hoe. Let's start with that. I don't think I have much for seeds, though. I think I have, like, that one bombberry seed. Oh, and this. So glow tulip can be cooked. Glow tulip seed can be farmed. Okay, bomb pepper. And, oh, root seeds. Yes, okay. So we do have a couple of things to do here. Okay. So this is root, this is heartberry. That and root. There we go. Unfortunately, I think I need a little bit of copper so I can make a... So I can make a watering can. Yeah, I need like two more. Well, do we try and go up? See what's up here? Oh, there's, there's some copper right over this direction. We also have to find... Oh. oh, you know what? That's not copper. That's probably fish. That sparkle on the right, though, and the left, that's got to be copper. Okay. So I think after this, we're just going to go find some slimes. Lap this down. Well, this is handy. Ooh. I need a drill for this. Well, shoot. Slapping a couple of these down. Uh, let's see. Well, this this area is a little bit more extensive than I thought it was going to be. Get that here. Okay, what else? Slime. Got it. Sound effects on those things are hilarious and gross. I don't know. Weird, gooey slime noises. I, whoever does the Foley work for those must have, like, the best job. It's like, hey, Steve, we're going to need, like, 60 more weird slime noises. D say the word, and it'll be done. <laughs> or just not even, like, way ahead of you and do just, like, absolutely dumb some weird slime noises left and right. I don't know. Like, there are a couple of things that, uh... Like, you know the phrase, if you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life? Which is, like, a damn dirty lie for the most part. But I feel like some fully fully work, you know, sound en engineer folks, I bet they have just the best time. I met one at a, uh, at PAX 2019, years and years ago, in the before times, and he was talking about, like, recording alligators and other related stuff, and it just sounded really dang cool. Okay, there's, there's actually some stuff over there, however... Uh, well, hold up. I have... a dirt ground. Interesting that the water doesn't fill it in. 
It could also make bridges. But this is fine. Okay. I think we might also be getting close to the slime boss. So I'm noticing that the, uh, yeah, there's, there's a shutter every once in a while. As it probably jumps. Okay. Punch through that. Yep, there he is. Okay, well that'll definitely afford me the slime that I'm looking for. But I think I still want to keep looking around for a little bit, at least. Am I out of torches? Apparently so. Ooh, hi. Ow. Okay. Well, that's most definitely enough slime. Let's go back. I didn't want to make that lantern so that it's not hard to see what I'm doing. And then I have enough copper that I should be able to make some stuff. And then the last thing is, I need food, like, real bad. Uh, let's see. Let's just pull out torch for a second on this one. There we go. Okay, so go here. Start smelting that. Still don't know about ground, ground slime if I can do anything with that. My general assumption is no. I've got five, five just base slime on me. We don't have to worry about anything else. So, glow tulip seed. And a root seed. There we go. Just gonna kind of surround that in torches so I know what I'm doing. Yeah, quite hungry. Well, I mean, I guess I might as well throw down the heartberry. Oh, oh, there's a recipe list. Well, that's lovely. And for the moment, we just eat anything. There we go. Next up. Let's just... Let's just combine mushrooms with everything. I wonder if I can do a double mushroom build. Build? Recipe. Okay, mushy tulip salad. Glow for two minutes. And also more HP regen. What about two mushroom? Two mushroom does, in fact, make a thing. Okay, go back to this. Because now... Nope. Workbench. Now I can make the watering can. Okay, perfect. Ah. Can't do AoE watering. I'm just going to water the rest of the field. Is it practical to do so? No, but I might as well. Okay, we got some fiber. Mushy mush suit. So, actively just not that helpful. Ah, oh, but that's okay. Uh, so, a couple of questions. We need tin, I think. What else do we have? Bed. Place to sleep. Allows friendly inhabitants to move in. If placed in a room to their liking. Oh, wait, hold up. I can do houses. Okay. In that case, let's clear this out real quick. And see what I can do. Nice part is, to some degree, I can just punch through dirt walls and I mean, especially sand walls. Okay, dirt walls are still two hits. But still. Okay. New town point and running. I should probably spend those. Okay, we also have crafting. 6% chance to craft an extra item when crafting any wall, floor, bridge, or fence. That's nice. It goes up to a 30%. Chance to not lose durability when using tools and weapons or equipment damage. Extra item when crafting any item at the uh, alchemy table or distillery. Extra items gained when crafting rails, wires, or conveyor belts. Equipment and weapons crafted in any anvil cost 6% up to 30%. That's nice. Polished version of any item crafted at the jewelry workbench. And just extra armor at low health. Neat. This food drained well that perfect. Okay. So I'm going to 
do some cardinal direction stuff here. I'm going to put that here. I don't know how big a room has to be. But I'm going to I'm going to assume people want like a a sizable-ish dwelling. Okay, I need one more wall. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Put the floor down before the torch. There we go. I like the, uh, the sand actually adjusts accordingly. Okay. Gotta grab one more wall. So if it's back here? Yeah. Nope. Here. I'll just do 11? Eh, it works out. Okay, break that torch. Oops. Do not break that wall. Okay, it looks like it recovers on its own. Not much going on in it, which is unfortunate. Okay, so what do I need for a bed? Fiber. Oh. I... I don't know how to make fiber. But I can make a small lantern. Okay, so now I have extra glow. So now I can see what I'm doing when I'm out and about. Do I want to... Oh. Do I have spare copper? I've got two. Six. Because I should have a second sword on hand. If I'm going to be fighting any bosses, I want to be ready for it. Okay, so what else do we have? You know what? Let's farm another glow tulip. Just because... Couple more of those. I do have some crude bombs. Ancient gemstone, slimes, some other things. Eh. Yeah, let's just cook what we can. See what we get. I remember the slime boss being a pain. However, with my better equipment, I should be able to punch through it much, much faster. Because I, th I think the last time I played this, I might have had some copper weaponry, but I did not have any armor. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can kill them. That's kind of gruesome. Uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Let's let's dig this way for the time being. Well, I appreciate that I'm not just this kind of eerie set of eyes in the darkness that I used to be. Still not much to go off of. But it's at least some light, and hopefully I can scale that up even further. Uh, what I'm thinking is... Do I want to dig northward into... Where the boss is? Maybe? I guess I could go also make some bridges. Because I believe bridges are just wood. Which I should be able to just farm at this point. Okay, 37. That should be enough. Okay. It's more cave mushroom. Which I think cave mushrooms just kind of grow on their own wherever. Let's see. Am I right? Yeah, it looks like it. The difference is this area is vested in some slimes. Oop, wrong one. There we go. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's just pick a lot of this stuff up, grab this. Torch here. Okay, so there he is. Uh, let's see. How else do we want to handle this? Yeah, he's just going to keep kind of slamming away up there until I deal with him. Got a lot of nice fishing spots, which is a plus. 
There we go. Okay, how are these doing? They don't look fully grown. Unfortunately. Okay, so I've got a couple of these. I can make a couple more glow fruits. We also have some more root seeds and glow tulip seeds. Which I might as well use. Let's see. That's glow tulip. And a root seed. If I can get my mouse to behave. Okay. Any other food that I picked up? No, but I should see if I can potentially cook with a slime. Just to see what happens. No, it won't let me. Anything else? No. It's probably fine. Do I prepare my tool or do we just wait? I'd say we wait. And then let's uh clear out resources. All right, I've got a spare chest. I should probably use this thing. I'll just put it up here. Eventually I will be much cleaner about how I do stuff, but today is just kind of whatever day. Okay, I don't have any other immediate food, so let's just slap a pair of those down, get a little bit more, and then go out adventuring. I can, I should be able to get my stuff back if I run into trouble. Okay, there's one. Because, yeah, it's not much healing, but it seems like it's the same amount of healing across the board for all of those. Cool. Okay, let's... Let's go punch Slime Buddy in the face. Make it a little bit further than I did the last time I played this, at the very least. Here's a question. Oh, that has copper in it. Ow, ow, whoa. The armor that I have accrued is not enough. Okay. What I'm trying to do is clear out an amount of the periphery here. But I think I'm just going to have to fight him. Oh, he just clears out the walls. Oh, that was my way out. I can no longer retreat. Okay. I... Nope. Shoot. Well, it's a good thing I put the bridge down, but uh, that dude sucks. He's got a lot more. Oh, I don't. I don't lose my stuff. Or no, no, no. I lose the stuff in my inventory, but not my. Got it. All right. Well, that's fine. Okay. Replant a lot of these. Oh, did I not get all of my seeds? I did get every seed there. Okay, so it's not quite as reliable. As I'd like it to be. Okay, mushroom plus bomb pepper. Makes me another mushy pepper wrap. And then I'll just go heart berries for the rest. I wonder if glow tulips and heart berries get me things. I mean, it seems to work. Boss was a little on the tough side. Let's see. I know there's ranged combat, but I currently haven't found any bows. Let's see, melee attack speed, extra movement. Let's see, glowing bearing berry pudding. And yes, we can make one more thing. Let's get rid of the shovels this time. So it's easier to get to, because I was... A little frazzled there. Okay, hearty berry pudding. Oh, gives me max health, but not as much healing as I thought it would be. 
That's fair. Okay, what next? I guess I'll just move over some of the resources. Let's grab my bridges. Okay, there we go. Because if I only lose stuff that was actually in my inventory, then as long as it's on my quick bar, less of a problem. Okay, unfortunately, it looks like the slime comes back, which is a bit of a doozy. Because I was really hoping I could get rid of that. New item, tombstone. Fair. Uh. Oh, he didn't like that. It's also got such a short leashing distance. All right, let's just take our ill-gotten gains return. This will take a couple of tries, at least. Let's see, oh, so I have a hardy berry seed, which I might as well just put down there. Tombstone just kind of here, don't worry about it. Put that there. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need my watering can if I actually wanna manage any of that. And I think I'm just going to leave that for later. Uh, oh, I do have it. Now, do these grow? No. We need to, we need to actually let them expand. Because I think they will just start growing all over the place. Okay. So I'll just put that there. Might as well light up some of this area. Just so it's not just this impenetrable darkness from which I cannot escape. Okay. So except for the spare sword, not much to do. Uh, it looks like the slimes respawn. I'm leveling up my vitality, though. So it might not be a bad idea for me to just kind of chill in the periphery and kill his minions instead of tackling him directly. The other issue is I just cannot run fast enough. Oh no, my bridges! Oh. Jericho destroyed all my bridges. I might want to actually have multiple escape routes. Uh, let's see. The extra movement speed, though. Hmm. Otherwise, I just am not powerful enough for this, and we should probably either go get a ranged weapon or keep running around for a while. Because here's the thing. Uh. Oh. Wait. Snare and stun durations reduced by 10%. No, that's not the same. I was hoping to increase my um, my movement speed further. And every level does, just not by much. Okay, what else do we have? Crafting, armor, gardening. Oh, increased chance to get a seed when harvesting plants. That's going to be useful. I don't know. Lots to do if I want to be able to beat him. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this way. Also, I probably should not have... Uh, I should not have put these roots and these root seeds where I did. It's fine. I will get more of them. Uh, okay. Either way, looks like Slime Guy is still going to be a problem for me. I think the next goal will be head for tin and see if I can become stronger. Uh, and also level, level up my running abilities. Because if I can run fast, then Big Stomp is, ain't going to be a problem. This is right now he is. But for now at least, this is a good stopping point. I'm enjoying this. I said it before the last time I played this, but it's a really neat kind of alternate uh, Terraria style game where instead of going for the side-scrolling nature, they went for more top-down. And I think it works actually really, really well. Uh, oh, the other thing I should look into is 
making a bed, but we need like five fiber for that, and I do not know where to get fiber from. That's fine. Anyway, for now, uh, let's see. Core Keeper is available on Steam Early Access. I think it's, I want to say it's 15 bucks. I actually have not checked uh, beyond that, nor do I actually see anything about a price tag, unfortunately. Can I check a pre-order page at the very least? The answer is no. Well, that's, alas, it's fine. Anyway, uh, so I'll be back to this here and there, uh, either just kind of when I feel like it, or maybe if I get it like a multiplayer crew going, because I think this could be kind of fun with an actual like crew of people to play with and uh, work together for. But for now, at least, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.